Tonight, we're learning more about the man now accused of setting dozens of fires in Barrington over the last several months. Police tell us they caught the 45-year-old suspect in the act trying to set another fire yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright spoke to police today. She has more from the newsroom. Police say they had to catch the suspect in the act, so they went back to the same place where they believe he set most of the other fires. And that's exactly where they found him. Residents in Barrington are breathing a little easier tonight now that police have the man they say is responsible for 22 to 30 brush fires in town since April. 45-year-old David Peterson from Barrington was arrested on Wednesday and charged with four counts of arson. Well, I know the fire department and uh, the police department are very relieved. Lieutenant Dino DiCrescenzo says Peterson set most of the fires in a wooded area off Kent Street between two schools. So officers went back and staked out the area for hours. Police say eventually they saw Peterson walking his dog, at which point he bent down and lit some leaves on fire. When he was apprehended, he was more shocked than anything because he felt he was in a wooded area by himself. He didn't see any of us hiding in the woods. Police say Peterson was remorseful when he admitted to starting the fires, which police say became more brazen over time, putting nearby residents and passerbys in danger. One firefighter hurt his head and neck battling the brush fire that happened Tuesday. I don't know how long he'll be out of work, but he definitely got hit by a fallen branch fighting the fire. Because of the firefighter's injuries, police are trying to file an enhanced charge against Peterson, which would carry a stiffer penalty if he's convicted. Peterson also has three weapons charges. Police say he had two knives, a pistol, and a stun gun. As for the motive for the arsons, police would only say that Peterson has some personal issues in his life. Right now, he's out on $5,000 bail. In the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.